Mwisera abirimu kene yalimu onji. Neka tuwebani ka usubula no kulavu msenu. Mwkene avubi wanyo oruo weta avu wabali mina walunzi. Nafu wabali tumuli yako. Tuvu wanyo mwkene atu kana guwayo mwanyanji. Na uwe noteka msentezo na ufiwa. Mugula mafuta atena na uvayonga tufuni. Na wana njini matu ni batu mba. Hamato gawo kugenda mnyanji. Kubate bafu na mba. Chiyo nkwa seza kubwa mba siyafu na sente. In Uganda, Silverfish is the main animal protein source for animal feed. However, due to overfishing in lakes, silverfish is becoming scarce. This is a problem not only for fishermen, but mostly farmers who cannot provide their animals with enough protein-rich feed. My name is Martin Tenua, the farm manager of protein a startup in Uganda that has developed a sustainable solution to the unavailable, poor quality and expensive protein sources for animal feed. While feeding our animals, we have a, a problem of the rising prices when uh, it comes to silverfish. Uh, scarcity sometimes, even if you have the money, you don't have the feed. Then the problem will be less feed or poor quality feed for your animals and then you have poor quality results. Animals don't grow very fast. That means you don't sell as early as you would have sold and then you're stuck in, in rearing animals that don't grow. I'm also looking out for something else that can replace silverfish. What alternatives do we have? Are we really stuck with this silver fish or there's something else that we can do? Protein is a young company which specializes in production of black soldier fly larvae as an animal protein source. As protein, we use an incredible natural resource, the black soldier flies, which are quite easy to multiply and work with. One female black soldier fly oviposed between 500 to 800 eggs, so the multiplication rate is really high. These beautiful insects actually exist, and we see them in the wild. In the first place, I used to get scared even me touching them but when you associate with them you start getting the passion you start seeing the value of these insects so in the future I'm sure they are going to be the gold mine the black soldier fly is a small fly but has big impact These are, are the breeding cages for the black soldier flies. We provide a safe location where they overpost their eggs. These black soldier fly insert their eggs in the spaces in the woods that we put in the cage. This is the hatchery place where we intubate the black soldier fly eggs for four to five days and we come up with five day old larvies. From the hatchery, we introduce our young larvae to a wider area to feed on organic waste. And on the 14th day, these larvae are pretty mature 
to be harvested. So these are pretty, pretty juicy for, for the livestock, for the animals as protein. In the harvesting process, we completely separate the larvae from the residue. The residue is also a big advantage because it's used as a fertilizer by crop farmers. And uh, we go further to dry the larvae and process it into an animal protein source. As I was looking around, I met these people, the protein people, who introduced me to the black soldier fly. So that is how I started using the black soldier fly to try and replace the silverfish. I would recommend other farmers to, 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 to use the BSF, to feed their animals on the BSF, because as farmers we normally face the same problems. Uh, the prices, the scarcity, so I know what I'm facing is exactly what they're going through. So if I find this alternative good, I would definitely advise my colleagues to do the same, to use that. We chose to use black soja flies because they are great decomposers. They feed on organic waste, which is abundant in most of the cities in Uganda. And we collect that waste from markets, waste dumping sites, and food processing companies. I'm called Mutaki Koche Godfrey. I manage waste in Greca Farmers Market. We are working on uh, the waste, but it's now a problem. We get so many products that come with a lot of waste and we cannot manage it. We don't have vehicles to collect those wastes. We don't have the manpower to collect it. It piles every, every day, every day. There is no way we can maintain it because it is too much. So we've got that problem and we feel we need some people to help us in that way. My name is Joel Mwesje. I work for Kampala Capital City Authority and I serve as a Northeast Landfill Management. My role is to oversee uh, the waste disposal at this Titezi sanitary landfill that receives waste from uh, the city of Kampala and the neighboring municipalities. We have a city of about three million people, uh, so we produce lots of organic waste uh, from the way we feed. We have uh, a community of 600 waste pickers. They just pick materials that have a market value. They can't succeed at separating this waste at a landfill. So eventually you just have organic waste stuck here because it's uh, mixed up with many other materials. One of the uh, ways to actually manage these problems is creating other treatment options for organic waste so that it, do it doesn't come here. 
And then if we sort, uh, if we sort west, we add value to this west. By using the black soldier fly, we do not only help farmers in need of the protein source, but also solve the problem of organic waste in Uganda by giving waste a purpose. We developed a do-it-yourself kit which we give to farmers to produce their own protein. But also this is an approach that involves the local community to get familiar with the black soldier fly farming. I started using the DIY kit like one and a half to two months ago. Of course, the reason is basically I saw it important helping me to breed and multiply the flies to get my own protein for the birds. I chose to start with black soldier flies because I had a challenge of, you know, meeting the cost of the fish, especially silver fish, in terms of the protein requirements for my animals. So I saw this as a best or an immediate alternative to meet the demands the animals were putting on me. The DIY kit is very, very farmer friendly, easy to use, and according to me, it is something that one can actually be able to secure, given the lower cost that it comes up and it is I think everybody can use it. And you're able to produce your own feeds or protein for your animals at any one time without any external you know, support. Soon we are moving into this big warehouse where we, we are going to produce more protein. In this warehouse, we are going to organize it very well and use more advanced technology to produce big amounts of fertilizer and protein feed in an efficient way. Currently, we have been producing 1.5 tons of protein feed but by this scale, we hope to produce 26 tons of protein feed per month and we shall be using more waste. KCCA is an authoritative body and one of the things they do, they manage waste around Kampala city and we both have the same passion to process the organic waste. And that's why we collaborate together. My name is Obed Lutakome. I work with Kampala Capital City Authority as the supervisor, solid waste management. Uh, the collaboration KCCA has with Protein is protein provides the technology for the black soldier fly larvae and then KCCA provides the waste. So us coming together to work together yeah, is an initiative that will help us better the city and at the same time provide revenue stream for protein. The future between KCCA and protein, given that the partnership is still young, of course the sky is the limit. Um, everything we are doing today serves as a pilot and we try or look forward to enhancing it and scaling it up 
in all other municipalities, not only for KCCA, but at least nationwide. Protein is going to help a lot of people because this approach, first of all, is eco-friendly, highly innovative. It is a form of uh, employment opportunity. There are very many youth out there in Uganda without jobs. So this is actually an opportunity. It is a, a great opportunity for them. We want to involve the youth by training them. They go and produce the protein source. The biggest population in Uganda are farmers. And when you look at them facing challenges, and I'm part of the team which is creating a solution for those farmers, I feel passionate about it. I think I'll leave uh, a good mark on the sands of my time. In the future, Protein is going to expand its production warehouses across Uganda, then let alone East Africa, and our future dreams are to create employment to the youth, solve waste management problems in cities, and also make protein available to every farmer, first in Uganda, Africa, and the world.